There are so many great neighborhoods in Oakland that you can call home. Today, let's talk about Glenview. I am Simone Koga with That East Bay Life. I am a real estate agent here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I live and work in the East Bay, serving Oakland, Berkeley, and surrounding communities. If you are looking for information about the East Bay and what life is like here, make sure you subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every week all about that East Bay life. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about Glenview. Glenview is a charming little neighborhood tucked away in Oakland. It's a stone's throw away from Lake Merritt and like downtown and everything that like the town has to offer city bustle, but it's a very quiet residential community that has a bit more of a suburban feel. So you kind of get the best of all worlds there. According to the 2010 census, there are roughly 2,500 households in Glenview and about 5,600 residents total. The area began to be developed in 1910 and the vast majority of the homes were built by 1939. I believe it's about 70% of the homes were built prior to 1940. So most of the homes in Glenview are gonna be 100 plus years old. A lot of the homes are gonna kind of follow a craftsman bungalow style, but there are some other types that are kind of mixed in, a little bit of Mediterranean here and there. Um, there mainly are single family homes, but there are some two to four unit duplexes, a very few number of larger buildings along Park Boulevard, and a couple of condos here as well. Uh, for the most part, uh, it's gonna be single family houses. One of my favorite things about Glenview is the little commercial district right on Park Boulevard. It runs about a block and a half. There's really cute um, like English Tudor style buildings that run along the street there and you have so many different types of food in that little block and a half. You've got Marzano's which is kind of an upscale pizza place. You've got uh, Bella Nico's which is fabulous for Italian fine dining. I can't tell you how many anniversary and Valentine's dinners my, my husband and I have had there. Always get the chef's menu. Whatever it is it's going to be delicious you're gonna you won't regret it at all uh, and then there's sushi park which is one of my favorite little sushi spots it's a little kind of a hole in the wall but the staff is so nice and they've got really 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 great tempura if you're looking for something a little bit more casual you can always check out balista which is a Brazilian tap room it's got really great Wi-Fi and these tables that you can kind of spread out on and it's a really great place if you're looking to hunker down for a few hours and get like a project done or maybe meet somebody and don't forget that there's bonji queijo which my Brazilian heart mm, can't get enough of if you're more of a brunch type of a person, you've got the Blackberry Bistro, which is really great uh, savory kind of dishes. Then you've got Diggory Inn, which is a little bit more of a diner kind of a feel with, with your traditional uh, breakfast fare. And the staff is always so lovely to my young children. So if you've got little kids, you don't need to worry about being judged when they sort of run around and make a little bit of noise over at Diggory Inn. Fabulous, family friendly. Ultimate Grounds is a really great little coffee shop. It's cozy, they've got fabulous chai. There are also several other little businesses through there. There's Glenview Key and Lock, which is where I get all of my keys made for my properties. Uh, there's the Cheshire Cat Clinic, which specializes in cat veterinarian care. There are also some medical dental buildings there, so you can find a family uh, pediatrician or family physician or dentist. Doctors Lynn and Yabu take care of the smile. One of the really great things about Glenview is how great it is for commuters. If you're going to work in the city, you've got a lot of different options. People will often think that because they're not near a BART station that they can't actually get into the city. Not true at all. You've got many, many options in Glenview. So first of all, the AC Transbay bus line, the V, runs down Park Boulevard. If you're not familiar with the AC Transbay bus lines, check them out. They're so much more comfortable to commute on than BART. BART is usually pretty crowded. Um, by the time it comes from Contra Costa County and gets to Oakland, you can barely find a spot to stand in. Not that case at all with the AC Transbay bus lines. So the V will pick you up on Park Boulevard, it hops right onto 580, and then it takes the hub lanes, the high occupancy vehicle lanes, which really bypasses all the traffic on the bridge, gets you into the city in no time. It drops off at the Salesforce Tower, at the Transbay Terminal, and for most, depending on the time of day, it usually takes about 25 to 35 minutes from Glenview. Not a bad commute at all. But if you don't wanna do that, 
Okay, you've got the casual carpool pickup line. Um, there's a casual car pickup spot on Park Boulevard as well. So pick up, um, you can easily just ride in a vehicle in a car and because there are multiple occupants, you go in once again through the hub lanes um, and shoot right into the city. Um, there's also, if you do want to try and get to the BART station, if you prefer that, the 33 runs down um, Park Boulevard and then goes to the Lake Merritt BART station and the 12th Street BART station. It's about 15 to 20 minutes to get to those. So you've got three different options for getting into the city without even having to drive. But if you did need to drive, 580 is right there so you can hop on, zoom over. Maybe pick up some uh, carpoolers and make it even faster. So Glenview Elementary serves the community of Glenview. Now, just because you live there doesn't mean you'll automatically go there. If you want more information about enrolling in Oakland Public Schools, make sure you check out the video I did about that. I'll put a link down there so that you can see um, a little, learn a little bit more about that process. But in general, a lot of the neighborhood kids go to Glenview Elementary or at least they did until 2017 when they had to close it down for renovations. Uh, they needed to do some seismic retrofitting to the school. They basically rebuilt it. They did keep the beautiful 1920s Art Deco facade, but most of the school has been completely rebuilt. They are finishing it like right now in the summer of 2020. Should be ready to go, except that now we're in the midst of COVID and no students are actually going to the school. But when everything is safe and we're able to send students back, Glenview Elementary is brand new and waiting for them. Another really wonderful thing about Glenview is Diamond Park. Now Diamond Park is technically in the neighborhood of Diamond, which is right next door to Glenview. There are several playgrounds there. There's a wonderful picnic area. There's so much space for romping and playing and you know having a wonderful picnic day. Um, there's also, it's also the beginning of several trails that run up Sossel Creek. So if you're into hiking or taking your dog on like a really long kind of rugged walk, that creek, uh, that creek trail goes all the way up through the hills up to Wookie Miller Park. Um, it actually connects underneath uh, Highway 13 and keeps going up so you can just get to the top of Oakland, the ridge, uh, the ridge at Skyline from there. It's a long walk, I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, if you're feeling tough, do it. <laughs> There is a great recreation center in the park that offers a lot of great summer programs. And there's the Lion's Pool. The Lion's Pool has just gone through a renovation. It's a fabulous new pool. We haven't had a chance to use it yet because it was supposed to debut um, after Memorial Day in 2020. But of course, due to COVID, a lot, there were a lot of shutdowns. I can't wait to get in and enjoy and take my family to splash around. What a fabulous neighborhood, right? I mean, you've got city living kind of right there, right outside your doorstep, but you also have this really residential, cozy, charming neighborhood that's quiet and really cozy to come home to. It's the best of all worlds. Now, if you really like this video, make sure you subscribe to hear about other East Bay neighborhoods. I'm putting out videos every single week. Which neighborhood do you wanna hear about next?